Well, hello, and welcome to Catalyst Creators Lecture Number One. This is Total Reboot. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for signing up for this class. I'm really, really excited to see what you can become, what you can obtain from this class, and see the power that is in your life, that is inside of you, that I hope that if you take this seriously, that your life will be transformed over the next 35 days, the next five weeks. We're going to be talking about your habits. We're going to talk about my strategy called the GGAQs, which is your gratitudes, your goals, your affirmations, and questions. So that's the fundamentals. We're also going to be talking about the introduction to meditation, which is stilling and quieting your mind and helping you to really formulate and to integrate your different aspects of yourself so that you're more centered and more balanced so that you can face life with a more contemplative and cool mind. We're also going to be talking about vision boarding. Vision boarding is essentially visualizing what it is that you desire in your life, first and foremost, by putting pictures and words together on an actual board. You see, this class isn't just about an education or teaching you something. I found that over the course of my life, that as I've studied personal development and self-improvement, that it's really about working and having hands-on things to do. What is it? Is it writing? Is it kinesthetic? Is it me actually taking something and putting it together? You see, if we couple new habits with actions, and that we see it every single day, and we start building this and start integrating this into our lives, we will begin to see the power manifest in our own lives. So what are the tools that you're going to be using in this class? Well, if you haven't ordered them already, please go ahead and do so by following the link on my kit.com for their total reboot class. Right there, you'll be able to select the Amazon. I've created an Amazon link with all the various products that you'll need. So if it's easy, just go ahead and go right there, click and buy them, and you'll have everything you need. But essentially, this is what you're going to be using. I found that if you have a journal, and I'm a big fan of colored pens and markers, you'll see, these are really good tools. First and foremost, these are nice products. And as you develop yourself and start to integrate new aspects and new fundamentals in your life, keep a journey, keep a record of it, because you will be able to reference this later on in the future. So you're going to be ordering the Tool Junior Notebook. And this is a pretty neat notebook. You actually are able to change out and add new pages and paper to it as you go along. It's a very nice writing surface and coupled with the tool pens, which you can order here, you have multiple colors. So every day you can try a new color or you can jot new colors in extra ideas and thoughts as you go along. So those will be the first two things. Next, you'll be ordering the complete vision board kit. Now this is by John Asaraf. Hopefully I'm saying his name correctly. But I really like this because it's essentially, it's a kit. And when you're first starting out, sometimes you need a guideline for what's gonna be best for you. Now, I chose the actual physical, physical aspect of a vision board because again, I want you to begin to integrate and write and actually have a class assignment and a homework project for you to work on over the next five weeks in which you can add to this. So find a really cool wall in your house, an empty space, in your kitchen and go get some foam board and build this out because this is going to be something very, very powerful for you. So the complete vision board kit essentially has a, a fold out with words and pictures that you can start to use and put on your vision board. It also has a nice little book about what it is and some testimonials of, of success stories with vision boards and a CD as well. So with this, I'm going to have you also order Sharpie. Sharpie markers, which you'll use, again, get colors, because I love colors. 
And you're also going to be adding to your list a spiral bound 3x5 cards with different colors. Now, again, I'm all about colors and intensity because it helps solidify things in your mind. So you're going to order these and you're going to order this cool little notebook. And you're going to find when we get to the week on affirmations, which is week number three, you're actually going to be writing down your affirmations on these different colored pages. And these are what you're going to be use, using to review daily and nightly, even after the class is done, because I want to leave you with something that you're going to be able to take away and use in the future to help yourself. Okay. The next aspect next tool is a little pocket mirror, cosmetic pocket mirror. And I like this guy because I can fold it up and throw it in my backpack during the day. And essentially you're going to be using this guy for, again, your affirmations. And we'll talk more about this on week number three, but just keep that in mind for right now. And then the nice last little thing is my favorite, The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. This guy's a classic. And it's nice because it's a pocket guide. I can throw it in my pocket, which I don't have in my shirt. I can throw it in my notebook, my, or my uh, backpack, or my purse if I had one. And essentially, this is just really, really nice to have and read through it throughout your day. It just keeps your mind centered. And I feel like it's just a good little tool to have for you. So those are the tools that you're going to have and you're going to order. And I want you to get those together for by the end of week number one. And essentially, these are going to be the things that you're going to use going throughout your process. So what are the GGAQs? It's something that I want to teach you about and help you understand the fundamentals of this process. I created the GGAQs over the last several years based on my own personal experience and what I felt worked best for my life. It did. It worked very, very well. And I started to integrate this into the lives of the clients that I started to coach and see how it worked for them. Was it successful? Was it also a transferable amount of information that would help someone else? And it does. It works. And with that, my clients started giving me feedback on the sense that, hey, it is working. I am seeing positive results in my life. So the GGAQ stand for gratitudes, your goals, your affirmations, and your questions. Throughout the next four weeks, you're going to be learning each week about one particular aspect of the GGAQs. So this week, week number one, is about gratitude. And gratitude is ultimately the most important thing that you can learn to develop in your life. So gratitude is from the simplest aspect of I'm alive right now. I have a heartbeat. I can draw oxygen in. I'm healthy. I'm alert. I'm grateful for that. How about another gratitude? I'm grateful that you're in my class. I'm grateful for the fact that you're here learning and wanting to improve your life to not be settling for the status quo, but to really want and to really desire change in your life. I'm grateful for you that you're here in my class. So gratitude is ultimately the most important aspect that we can learn to develop into our lives. That's why it's the first thing that I put as the first week. Because once we learn to develop an attitude of gratitude, we start to see all the positive and beautiful things in our lives. And that helps shift our mind into a positive high frequency status. You see, if we're always running around being worried and anxious and negative and wondering why things aren't the way they should be in our lives and always focusing on lack, well, unfortunately, that's what we attract. You'll be learning about this and that about about that in this class, about the lack and the fear and the belief system that we have all ingrained in our lives. However, we can shift that. And the first shift is by being thankful for what we have and for the little things, having a car, having a job. Even if we don't like the things that we have, you do have them. So always be grateful 
That's the lesson in this first aspect. So the GGAQs, again, you just we just talked about gratitude, and that's really the first fundamental thing that I want you to grasp, is being grateful. In weeks two, three, and four, you're going to be learning about goals, which will be next week. You're going to be learning about affirmations, which is in week number three. And your final week, or the second to last week, which is week number four, you're going to be learning about questions, asking very specific questions for your life. So with that, that's just an introductory to the GGAQs. So you've learned about gratitude. Next week, we'll talk about your goals. What else do I wish a desire for you to get from this class? So let's talk about the next aspect. We've talked about the GGAQs and what they are and what you're going to be learning within this 35-day class. But the next aspect that is ultimately fundamental and most important is that of meditation. Now, I don't approach meditation from the woo-woo standpoint, but more so in the sense of thinking of it in the sense that you're going to the gym to lift weights and you're strengthening your body, you're strengthening your muscles. Meditation is essentially that very concept, but for your mind. You're going to the mind gym you're going to be lifting weights and you're going to be exercising your mind in the process of being still and quiet. Now, by doing this, you are able to build up a resiliency and a strength in your mind to be able to handle the different aspects and the fears and the turmoils that come in your daily life and just the unknowns and to be grounded and to be centered. Think of it like a willow tree. A willow tree, is a, a willow tree that's planted by this peaceful river and its roots go super, super deep down into the dirt. And it's beautiful and it grows large and it has all these hanging aspects of the tree. Now, when the wind comes and blows, it's strong, it's fortitude. It's dug deep into the soil of the dirt and it's strong. That's what you are going to be doing through the process of meditation. Now with this, I'm not gonna teach you exactly about meditation other than the basic, very fundamentals, because I don't want you to learn it from me because I'm not an expert at meditation. However, I will be putting links and resources for you in the class notes for you to sign up either in an actual five week, four week or five week class or something simple if you want to just get the tit tidbits of it and you're going to download an app such as Calm or Headspace. And these apps are free and they're essentially really, really good ways to start building a daily practice of meditation. Now, you're going to do this class five days a week. I essentially think you'll do it five days. If you want to do it seven days, great. But I really look at having a cheat day at least one cheat day within the course of the week in which you can focus and relax and, and take in all the things that you worked on throughout the week. Meditation, I would suggest you do it every single day, but again, also have a cheat day. So work with it, practice. And essentially, when you're working with meditation, it's about drawing in a deep breath, closing your eyes, and just having the thoughts that are there, not to shoo them away, but just to recognize them, see them for what they are, and then center back on your breath. And by doing this, it calms your mind, it calms the thought processes. When I talk about weight training in the gym, the weight training for the mind, if that's what meditation is. When your mind goes away and strays on a thought of the thing you have to do, or who knows, your mind is always running. It's that monkey, it's that chatterbox. You acknowledge it and you see it. It's not about chasing away or fighting, but it's just recognizing it for what it is. 
taking that deep breath and recentering back on the breath. That's your rep. If you think about it like being in the gym, think about being on a bench press or lifting weights. When your mind strays on a thought, that's the push. That's the push up on the rep. And when you come back and you recognize it and you see that thought, that's coming back down. That's for the rest. And every time you do that, the mind strays with the thought, you bring it back. Mind strays and you bring it back. That's the workout. That's the lifting. That's the process. That's what strengthens your mind. Think about it. The more you do it, the stronger you become and the more resilient you get. I could tell you various instances from my own life where I believe that just practicing meditation for one month saved my life. So keep that in mind, that you will immediately take away, if you practice it for the very minimum, and this week you're going to practice just two and a half minutes. I would say set your alarm for 20, minute, 20 seconds or 30 seconds more, and really focus on setting up for that two and a half minutes. Okay? Try that. Well, the last thing we're going to cover in this lecture for this week is vision boarding. Now, we talked about in the beginning of the tools that you're going to need, but again, make sure you have this, the Complete Vision Board Kit by John Asaroff. And essentially, some people are into doing their vision board online, which is completely fine. And I would encourage you to also have it. Uh, there's apps, and really the easiest is to use Pinterest. But... Get something that you can actually work with. Go to Walmart, go to Home Depot, Office Depot, not Home Depot, that's the wrong store. Uh, but however, get yourself some foam board. And in this kit, you've got a book and you've also got a, a nice fold out, which is full of pictures and words that you can start to decorate your vision board with. So that's a start. But also use your your markers that you're going that you've ordered and then you're going to go through and you're going to take your gratitudes in this first week and you're going to find things that inspire you words pictures your family your pets whatever it is and i want you to start taking the first 10 things and that's part of your homework assignment we'll talk about but you're going to take the first 10 things that you're absolutely grateful for. And I want you to find a picture, either words or pictures, and I want you to start decorating your vision board with those things. Put, you're going to have the vision board somewhere in a kitchen, in an office, where you can see it every single day. And you're going to take, whether it's in your kitchen or your office, whether it's in your kitchen, you're drinking your coffee in the morning, you're looking up at your vision board, and you're seeing all the things you're grateful for. You're seeing pictures of your family. You're seeing pictures of your pets. Or you're seeing pictures of the vacation you're going to take. Or the money you're going to make. Whatever it is. Put that vision board somewhere in a place that you're going to see it every single day. And in minimum, you're going to look at it twice. First thing in the morning. And last thing you're going to do at night. Have fun with this. Because this is arts and crafts time. And you're going to do this every single week. As you go through your gratitudes, as you go through your goals, affirmations, and the questions, I want you to take those every single day and come up with a new picture, a new word. By the end of this 35 days, this five weeks, you're going to have one giant full of life vision board that is going to inspire you and empower you to move forward in your life and to see and attract the things that you desire. You see, the power of a vision board is so much more than just thinking and seeing. It's visualizing. And when you give your mind something to visualize on, the reticular membrane in your brain will suddenly start to see that everywhere. For me, I love the Tesla Model S. That is on my vision board in burgundy, which is the Tesla Model Red. The P100D, that's the car that I have on my vision board and I feel it and I see it and I picture myself in that car one day and I will have it and I'll have that exact color. You know, it's crazy. As soon as I put that on my vision board, 
I started seeing that car everywhere. The very next day, I see it, I'm attracting it. And every time I see that car go by, I'm like, thank you, that's my car. It's just a reminder. So keep that in mind. Whatever it is that you desire, you'll begin to start seeing it in your everyday life. Think about it. As soon as you heard someone say the word reticular membrane, <laughs> there's a good word, you're suddenly going to hear it on the news tomorrow, or you're going to hear someone saying it in, in the coffee shop. It's the way our brains activate when we start to see and focus on what it is we want. So your assignment this week is the power of vision boarding and to start working on building this and crafting this magical new life for yourself, which is part of the total reboot.